Hi, I'm Nancy, Pampered with Diamonds. Hi, me and my snowman are back at it again with more Christmas. Okay, this time I'm going to show you how to bling up your Christmas cards. Ready? Here we go. Okay. I'm going to put my snowman over here. This is a regular generic box of Christmas cards. You can use any kind you want. So I'm going to pick that one out and I'm going to use dot stick. I used, I did a video before on it, but this one works much better. This is the one I should have used. So I am going to, I have a regular paintbrush and I'm going to do the candy canes. Put a generous coat. And maybe I'll do these. Why not? Okay. Stay. All right. Now you're going to let it dry just a little bit. So while that's drying, setting a little bit, because it does say, where's English? Once it dries clear, because it's white right now, once it dries clear, we can start putting our decorations on it. So it's still kind of white. Starts out white. And once it dries clear, we can start. So I'm going to use, gonna pick out something from there maybe. Let's see. Oh, I have red. I can do red, white, red, white. So let's try red. We'll do these two on one of them. And then for the stockings, I figured we would use this crystal. It's actually a green. Doesn't look very green. So let's put the crystals in here. Maybe you can see it a little better in there. Can you see? No, still can't tell. It is, it is green. So, all right. So, not quite, those are kind of clear. But we're gonna start there. Yeah. 
You know what else I want to do while, while we're waiting for it to dry? We're going to put a, a little something in the... What do you think? Bling up these snowflakes. Here we go. All right. So let's finish the stocking. All right. All right, now. Okay, we're going to put that back, those back in here. And I think... Yeah, let's do the candy cane. So we're going to do, we're going to do it on both sides because we're going to alternate just like a candy cane. And I can separate them. There's not that much. So, we are going to, let's turn this around, yeah, so we're going to go red, white, red, and we're going to go, I'm going to go kind of like a diagonal pattern. It didn't dry clear yet. I'm I'm impatient, guys. But this one's clear, so we'll go there. All right. It's coming out good. So this is a way you can bling up your Christmas cards with your leftover drills. And we are going to put that one there and put one there. Okay, this one is clear, so we're going to go to that one. working out much better when you use the proper stuff, guys. I mean, they they still stuck with my last one. But they moved around a lot because it wasn't dot stick. This is dot stick. So this stuff 
is made to stick. Okay. Oh, they are coming out so good. Okay, and that one, this one's looking like it might be clear. Okay, nope, not yet. So this one looks like it might be clear, but the snowflakes, most of the snowflakes are clear. And I think I'm going to... Put like a a blue tone to it. Let's see. Coming out good. I think this is gonna be a this would be fun for the kids because there's no right or wrong way to do your cards. So they can decorate them any way they want. But just make sure it's clear before you put your drills on. See, that's not clear, not clear, not clear. This candy cane is clear. So let's work on that. Let's work on that with this one. All right. Candy canes. How many of you love candy canes? How many of you like the chocolate? Um, it's chocolate with can crushed candy canes in it. It's so refreshing and it's so easy to make. You melt, ch well, first you're going to crush some candy canes. You can crush them by putting them in a bag, a gallon baggie and rolling a rolling pin over them, or um, I don't know, any a mallet that you would uh, thin your chicken out with. You can use one of those to uh, crush your candy canes. So once you have those crushed, then you're going to take some either chocolate chips or chocolate melting blocks. The chocolate blocks, they come in squares. Melt those on low heat. And you're going to, once it's melted, you are going to take that chocolate, pour it on a co prepared cookie sheet that has parchment paper on it, pour your chocolate on there and smooth it out. Take your crushed candy canes and sprinkle them on the top of the chocolate. You, for rushing, you can put it in the freezer if hopefully you have a big enough freezer to fit the whole cookie sheet. If not, let it sit with a cover like cellophane or something, but don't let it touch the chocolate. Well, you can cover it with another piece of parchment paper. That would be fine. And then when it is hard, good and done, if you don't freeze it, you want to make sure it's set. And once it's set, you're just going to pick it up, drop it in the cookie sheet, pick it up, drop it in the cookie sheet, break it apart, um, take the parchment paper that was on top of it, 
hit that with a mallet, hit it with a mallet. You're going to break it up into little pieces and then you're going to put it into smaller containers to give away. Or you can eat it for yourself. I have a friend who absolutely loves those and every year I make those for her. So, all right, let's see what we got here with this. All right, these are not clear yet. So, they're not clear yet, so we shouldn't put our drop, our, we can with a pair of tweezers. I don't have a pair in here, but <clears throat> there is your blinged up Christmas card. And as soon as these are clear, I'm going to go ahead and put these on there. So, let's see, can I maybe just, let's see if I can, if it'll let me. All right. Got it. And it'll, it will dry and it will be good. Okay, we got one more. So I just need one more. And that's all I got out of there was one more. And it dries clear. And there's our Christmas card. Blinged up, made from you. And that didn't take too long. But now you got fancy dancy Christmas cards. All right. Let me know in the comments if you think you're going to try this. Well, me and my snowman say good night. Good night. <laughs>